Hello everybody, this is Shirley with Sew Till We Begin Embroidery. Today I'm going to do a little project. I have been putting this off for over three years. I bought a couple of shirts that I wanted to put designs on the pocket. Um, I've never done that before, but it shouldn't be too hard to do because I do have dirty frames that I can use and I will show you what I'm talking about if you're not familiar with them. Durky frames are fast frames are different types of hooping frames that you can use basically doing um, basically not hooping it tight in, in a hoop or you, you're just floating it but you're not really floating it because you stick it to the frame. If you use sticky stabilizer some people use cutaway stabilizer and clamp it on uh, however you do it but that allows you to stitch on things that are difficult to hoop because you can't get up under there without stitching it shut so it's really a good thing to have a set of dirty frames or fast frames I know that I talk about mighty hoop all the time but you know there are times when you have to switch out and use different hoops even the hoops that comes with the machine itself so today I will be doing uh, two shirts pockets the left side and um, I will be putting cute Mickey Mouse uh, or Disney designs on them and uh, I'll just show you how, how I will do it using dirty frames so sit back watch and I'll get started and and before I go of course I always want to thank you for stopping by thank you for uh, watching my videos thank you for subscribing if you have not subscribed please do and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put videos up also don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also to share this video so I do appreciate all of your support everything that you do as far as viewing liking and sharing helps this uh, channel to stay afloat and I do appreciate everything that you do so now I will get to the project these are the items that you're going to need for this um, project I am using the Durkee frame that is uh, for the Brother PR1055X. If you use a fast frame or a Durkee frame, you have to let the company know what machine you have so they'll make sure you have the correct arm that fits on your machine. And it comes with several different frames. Now, of course you need a ruler to, what I did, I measured out my sticky stabilizer and I also have right here, you may not be able to see it too good, some fusible poly mesh. Now I'm going to use both stabilizers mainly because the rule is if you wear it, you can't tear it and sticky stabilizer is terrible. Terrible. It's tear. T-E-A-R-able. And the uh, poly mesh is not so I'm going to use the poly mesh for the stabilization and the sticky stabilizer basically to attach it to the frames uh, the dirty frames and so um, I'll be inserting it in this pocket now you know I am a mighty hoop person but you can't use a mighty hoop with this particular project at least not the size that I have and I I'm not sure they make one for my machine small enough to go in a pocket. I'm not sure. I'm not going to say they do or they don't. And as you can see, I have this huge row of sticky stabilizer. So I do use my Durkee frame. Not that often, but occasionally, especially during the holidays and stuff, I use my Durkee frame a lot because I do the, the, um, the, um, stockings Christmas stockings so of course you need your design and you need uh, the corresponding thread that you're going to be using and I am going to do I'm going to do two shirts with pockets of just alike I bought these shirts over three years ago um, thinking that I was going to do this while I was working and never did and in my head I was going to put a Mickey Mouse design 
on the pocket. So that's what I'm going to do. It's actually going to be one of them. I know for sure it's going to be Minnie Mouse. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, or um, something else that I might have. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. But it will be a Disney character that I'm going to be doing on both of the shirts. So I will get started with all of this and get to the machine. The first thing I'm going to do is to iron my fusible mesh into the pocket. And I'm going to have the shiny side sticking to the front of the pocket because that's where I'm stitching. And then I'll figure out which one or which size of the Dirty frame I'm going to use but the first thing I need to do is put the fusible poly mesh in there and I uh, have a 4x4 four four uh, Diameter that I'm, I'm going to be working in It's actually a 5x5 five five, But I'm going to be working inside a 4x4 four four diameter and that's what I cut out for the fusible so I'm going to go ahead and put this in and make sure that I have it in here flat and everything is okay. I want to make sure it is in here correctly all the way down. Not an easy thing to do. But I think I have it down as far, as far as it needs to be. And I need to make sure that it is straight and not balled up, which is kind of difficult to do. Because you really can't turn this pocket inside out, which would be the best way to be able to do it if you if you had that capability, but I think I got it positioned in there the way it needs to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and put an iron on it and fuse it to the pocket. Doesn't take long. I just want to make sure that it is good and fused to the pocket. And I think you're supposed to do it with a non-steam, but my, my iron is steam, so that's what I use. Okay, that part is done, so that's good. So the next part is deciding what size dirty frame. Now I think I cut this out for the two and a half by four size. And I also have the 2x4 size, so it's one or the other that I'm going to use. They both fit into the pocket, but I want to make sure I have enough room to stitch and so it, it can go around. I think I might come out better with the 2x4. But I'm going to go ahead and give the two and a half by four inches uh, a try. I think it'll work. Now, if you never use Durky Frame, this is how it works. So let me move my shirt out the way for now. Don't need that yet. My ironing mat, because I use that on top of my cutting. And you have an arm that has to be specific for your machine and you put your hoop on using these knobs and then you put it on onto your machine so two and a half let me put that on here go ahead and put these on and you tighten it down I normally put my um, 
sticky paper on first, but it doesn't matter. Turn it to the back. I got a little residue on here that I have to get off, but that's not a big deal. You do need to try to get it off before it gets gunked up too much. And I, you just take it and you stick it onto the frame. Should have made it just a little bit wider, but this should be fine. Make sure that it sticks down real well. I might cut out another piece because I, I, I do like for it to be a little bit more than this. But anyway, that's the concept because you're going to stick it on here. And then your fabric, your, your blank or whatever, adheres to the stickiness here. And of course you have it on your machine. And because I'm doing the fusible mesh, my shirt pocket is going to have the fusible mesh as the um, stabilizer that's going to keep the design stable. Because this comes off, it's tear away. So that's how you use a fast frame or a derky frame so then i'm going to go ahead and uh, the next step will be putting the, the design on the machine getting my color set and put my uh, shirt on we'll be ready to go well hopefully you can see this because it's so small this area here and i have it uh, on with the um I think this is the two and a half by three inch. And I um, reduced the size even smaller because I am still one of these people that's concerned about my needle hitting the bar. And anytime you're using aftermarket hoops, you have to be very careful. And even Durkee has on their frame to always trace before you start stitching. So they give you that warning, even though that's something that you should always do. And it's going to be a small design, 2.37 inches by 2.114 inch. So uh, 2 inch by 2 inch, a little bit, a little more than 2 inches. I guess that's big enough for this pocket here. The design initially had some writing on it as well and I decided to not stitch that part because, because the design is so small, I don't think that the writing is going to be clear. And I don't have the right color thread to use. I have the poly light thread which would be the right weight. For a for a very tiny writing and I also have the correct needle but the only color I have is white and I don't want it written in white I don't think I might think about this and and do it in white just to have no I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to make this design any bigger than what it is so I'm just gonna let it be as it is. I have inputted my colors and I have traced a million times to hopefully make sure that it's not going to hit the bar, the frame. And I think I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and trust that my trace has is okay and that it's going to be okay to go ahead and start stitching. Now what I do know is that it's going to be a little off-centered and I was trying to figure out a way to center the design and it doesn't look like I can because the, the design is set up to have this writing. So I might have to rethink this about the writing part and let me think about this a minute and I'll be right back. Well I don't have the right needle either. I have a 60 
I believe it's a 6090 or 7090. That's what I have. I have a 7090. And they recommend a 6590 and 60 weight thread. I have a white 60 weight thread and that's it. So I'm just not going to do the lettering. That's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put the design on here and be done. I don't need to get risky. So let me go ahead and run this first stitch with my fingers crossed that everything works and that it's going to fit and we're not going to have any issues. I'm going to put it down at the slowest uh, stitch uh, 400 stitches per minute and I will go ahead and see how this goes And I will show you the finished product. Hopefully everything turns out okay. My fingers are crossed. So, so far everything has been stitching okay as far as uh, positioning. I have noticed that it's very um, dense. perhaps more than I expected it to be. So I don't know how it's going to look once I take it off, but I'm glad that I did use the, um, the feasible polymesh because that definitely is going to help. And once it's complete and I get it off, we will see exactly how it's going to look. But I am glad that it has it's sitting in the hoop and all of that, and nothing is hitting the side. So I'll just keep on going until it's done, and we will see the finished result in a few minutes. Well, here's the finished product. It actually came out cute once I get it off of this hoop and get the tear away off of it, press it out, think it'll be just fine. I'm happy. So I guess I will do the next one. And when I'm done with the next one, then I will iron them up and I will show you what they look like. Well, there's the finished product. I have the two shirts done. The Minnie Mouse um, on the black and white stripe and the beige and brown stripe. The Minnie Mouse that's on the brown shirt or the beige shirt obviously was digitized by a different person because the the whole feel of the design and, and everything uh, is totally different. The, the, the um, one on the black shirt was a much better stitch out. And I had to make it really small because I was going to do the writing that went with it and then changed my mind. I didn't readjust the size. But anyway, I like them both. And that was the first time I've ever done a pocket. So I was really happy with how that turned out. And as you can see, I can get my hand in the pocket. So using that using the um using the the um uh, durky frame makes it possible for you to do things like that so i will be making this putting designs on other pockets going forward so anyway this is um i just a, a little quick short video wanted to show you my little project for today and show you how it turned out thank you for viewing uh, thank you for stopping by. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And share the video. Uh, hit the notification bell. And look forward to more videos coming up soon. 
And so thank you very much. Again, take care.